Okay, so finally, astronomical darkness has returned uh, to where I live in the UK. So it's time to literally dust off the interior of the observatory and get things ready for imaging. Let's go! Now that the dome's been given a bit of a clean, it's time to connect everything up and make sure everything's working. That's, that's the place sort of cleaned up a bit, tidied up a bit. Um, so what I, I, I intend to do tonight, because the weather forecast looks favourable, uh, start the new season, so quite excited. I, I'm going to try and um, image the Veil vale Nebula complex in its entirety uh, using the Sharp Star 6180PH2 along with the um, ASI 2600MC Pro. Uh, looking in, uh, keying in the oculars in um, Stellarium, uh, it seems that you um, get really nice frame composition uh, with this, composi with this uh, combination of equipment. So here we are, um, the uh, EQ8 with this combination which as you probably guessed, is rather um, over the top, to say the least, overkill, but it's convenient and I can't be bothered uh, setting up the EQ6 to take it. Um, if you notice down here, the counter weight's right up <laughs> onto the body of the mount. So, but it, it's, uh, I've had it uh, running before in this configuration, it seems to be fine. I'm using the hub <laughs> on the ASI 2600 um, to, to drive the electronic uh, automatic uh, focuser and also um, to, to drive the, the camera for PhD 2 and um, the other thing I'm doing here is I'm using the auxiliary power outputs uh, on the hub on the EQ8R to drive the focuser and the camera um, I really need to, in fact I think I'll do that before this evening, I need to shorten this, it's far too long and produces a snag hazard so that's, that's something to get to get rid of, or to sort anyway. I've got a, a USB 3 um, cable here, which goes straight into the laptop, as you can see. And I've also got the um, mount control for ASCOM again directly into the uh, into the laptop. The game console um, all um, configured, so I don't have to be pressing keys in the dark when I want to adjust the mount. Everything's on a metal pier, which is bolted onto about a metre squared of concrete under the observatory. So, I, I came across these things uh, recently. They're actually um, cable ties made of Velcro. And they're reusable. Um, as you see, they, they, they come in different sizes and configurations. They're extremely useful, I found, and I'll explain why. So here we have the, the sort of smaller version, and, and they simply they, they peel off, you know, the typical hook and eye kind of configuration that uh, Velcro has. And the idea is that you simply fold it back in itself like so. You can get this uh, correct on camera. Okay. 
and so there we have flat. So if we want to join two uh, cables together, you simply wrap it round thus. And it's, it's reusable because if, it, if you're anything like me and you spend a lot of time with plastic cable ties uh, going up along the whole length of the cables and then find out uh, you want to change it, you've got to cut them all off and start again and it's a complete waste of time uh, and, and uh, money with uh, as if you get this wrong, you simply unpeel it. Uh, but the other advantage of, of these things, well, let me show you. Here we have uh, two of, of the larger ones here, but the advantage of them is, again, just like normal um, cable ties, I guess, is you can link them together to make a, a longer tie, like so. Or I found the advantage of doing this really helps with uh, cable management and reducing snag hazards on your astrophotography rig, which I'll show you in a second using a small telescope as an, a, a, as a, an example. So here we have a small telescope, it's the uh, Williams Optic uh, Zenith Star 61 and what I've got here is the two larger Velcro uh, cable ties linked together just tidy that up a little bit, that's better. And what I'm going to do is just simply wrap it around the OTA and uh, tie it up. Nice and tight. Okay, probably get a bit tighter than that, but for the illustration purposes it's fine. So because I've um, Use a smaller cable tie with uh, the opposite surface outside, so to speak. I can actually just attach that, so it's it's held nice and snug against the telescope and uh, keeps everything nice and neat. So here's the the power lead uh, now shortened. Uh, I've still got to keep it relatively long because uh, it's got to reach the uh, camera when it's on the uh, SP120, which is obviously a much longer OTA. Uh, I've also added a dew heater as well. And just to illustrate what we were saying earlier in the tip section, is there's the Velcro band that I put on the, on the OTA. And... Uh, there's the uh, little um, cable tie, velcro t cable tie, which I've arranged so that it sticks onto the, the body, uh, onto the um, velcro on the OTA. So it keeps everything nice and sort of snug and uh, less of a uh, catch hazard. Fingers crossed, everything seems to be connected, seems to be working at the moment. <laughs> There's plenty of time for things to go wrong, particularly uh, when and if the sky is clear and we, and we get started. So, at the moment, a little bit of cloud. Uh, forecast says it should clear up by 9 o'clock. It gets astronomically dark here about 10 o'clock, so with a bit of luck uh, the weather will hold and we'll get some imaging done, so I'm going to sign off just now until later. <laughs>